Hey, what's up? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Um, giving you a quick update on what I'm going to be doing next here at the headquarters. Uh, give you a little tour of the garage. It's still messy, not 100% done, but it's workable. You know, little by little, that doesn't mean I'm going to not make any videos. So, uh, what I'm going to be doing here is a, a plastic dip series within the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, it warms up so I'm not going to have any problems, uh, but it, it is warming up right now. Um, and uh, here's just a quick sneak preview of how the shop is looking. Whoa, that was zoomed up pretty pretty much. Um, anyway, we've got a little like working desk area right here. This is where I'm probably going to be mixing some of the paints. Um, and we got our big rack set up over there. I'm still working, uh, putting some stuff up in the attic. Got a full attic on top, insulated. Um, we're going to be putting a curtain rail system spray booth in here. Um, soon. Um, not in a hurry uh, because I could always spray right here in the garage, especially if I'm doing Plasti Dip. It doesn't have to be a fancy smashy spray booth or anything like that. Um, but we got our tools set up here. I got all my tools, uh, cabinets and stuff. I still got to hang, hang a mirror in the bathroom area. Um, that I'm going to be converting into a gym. Um, as you see, I got my little pull-up bar set up. <laughs> Uh, we got our air compressor system all hooked up here. Um, got the jack, uh, some jack stands, um, the compressor. We got uh, the air regulator and water filter. And here, this bucket here, I just put you know all the little uh, necessity things, just you know, air nozzles and uh, nozzles for putting air in your tires and stuff. All right, so that's all hooked up. Um, it's looking pretty cool, you know, I'm excited. Uh, I had the furnace on a couple of days ago, it got cold, you know, heat, heat up the shop. Uh, it was pretty, pretty damn cool. So this is what it's looking like right now. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, as you see, I got the full attic here. I'm just putting some boxes up here uh, real quick. Here, I'll just show it to you really quick. Let's go up inside. So, you know, big walkable space. You know, I could put a whole bunch of boxes and stuff up here. Um, you know, we got the plywood on the floor, so you're not going to be falling through the ceiling or anything. Alright, so that's basically it. So let me show you uh, some of the Plasti Dip that I just bought. Um, and what we're going to be doing to the, uh, to the Mini. So here's the Plasti Dip. Alright, so I got two colors. I got white, flat white and flat red. Uh, we're going to be doing a two-tone color graphic system on the, uh, the Mini. So, um, it's going to be pretty cool, I think. You know, I was thinking of doing flat black, but everyone's doing flat black, and everybody knows what flat black looks like, although I think it would have looked really cool on it. Uh, but I'm going to do a completely change it out and do a, a two-tone um, red and white on it. So, a flat white and a flat red. Um, completely change it up. The rims I'll probably leave black. I don't know if I'm going to uh, do the moldings a color or peel the plastic dip off it. I'm not exactly sure yet, um, but it's very rough. Okay, you could hear it. It's like sandpaper. I got tree sap on it. I haven't washed it in literally almost three months. All right, I've just been uh, transported it over from Hawaii. Um, it's been in, out, in the, out, in, out in the weather here. I got spider webs on it. I got tree sap. I got grime on it. Um, you know, and it's just really, really filthy right now. So the first thing we're going to be doing to this thing is uh, giving it a good wash with basic dish soap. All right, we're going to be using like a down dish soap. Wash it down really clean. Get all the stuff off it, and probably even do a clay bar on it quick. Alright, just to get all the grime off of it. We're going to get it nice and squeaky clean. Um, like I said, a good dish soap will do the job because it'll take all the wax and grease off of it because um, you're doing the same thing with food dishes, right? So uh, a good dish soap detergent is a good soap to wash cars and then if you want to put wax on it, unless you're doing a wash wax combo, um, then you can get like the Meguiar's gold or whatever you guys are doing. Uh, but basically, we just want to keep this thing clean. We want to get it clean. Take everything off of it um, and then prep it for Plasti Dip. 
All right, so this is a part one of the video series, a little shop intro, a little intro of the mini, what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing a two-tone graphic scheme on this thing, testing everything out. So if you have any questions, um, hit me up on YouTube or my email on my blog. Uh, leave a comment uh, because I am going to do a couple of different ways. Um, I am going to try uh, testing, I may try testing the airless sprayer. Um, there's a bunch of different spraying options that you have with this. On the can, it's saying um, right over here that you could use a 1.4 to 1.2 millimeter high volume low pressure spray gun. Okay, so that's what I'm going to try first. All right, we're going to try that method with air using my air compressor, my Warwick spray gun um, to do that. All right. And uh, probably maybe when I do the graphics, I will try the airless style. Um, I have a Ryobi uh, electric gun. Maybe I'll buy the airless sprayer of that version and try doing it airless uh, with like one of those house painters or uh, something else. But if you have any uh, ideas, suggestions of what you may want to see, uh, put them in YouTube. Uh, share it, like the video, uh, more videos to come. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a complete series on this, testing different methods out uh, with the plastic dip. I got two gallons. Uh, this is, you know, pretty much a small car. The Mini is not a huge car, so uh, other than that, uh, just keeping you guys posted. If you want to learn more about this stuff uh, or basic general auto body and paint repair, go to learnautobodyandpaint.com right now to get your free 85 page auto body and paint manual. I think you're really gonna like it and uh, I'll see you on the site. Ciao.